for them. <laughs> um, and today, <clears throat> so I just come out of bath. Um, welcome to the Tristan channel. And today, we'll be reacting to a new channel called Mind a Junkie. As recommended by, it's got, uh, it's been recommended through other YouTubers. And um, this is top 10 creepy ghost videos caught on camera. Uh, the video I saw that the other re YouTubers react to looked good, so let's have a look at this one, shall we? Top 10 ghosts caught on camera. The Wanderer. Coming in at number 10 on this week's episode of Scary Videos is a video I found on Facebook. The video you're about to watch was filmed on a CCTV camera and uploaded to Facebook by Bree Ashton Monkman. There's not much to say other than their CCTV motion detector alerted Bree to it. And while she was going through the recorded footage, she noticed she had captured something rather creepy. A ghostly apparition can be seen appearing out of nowhere, wandering through Bree's garden before disappearing out of view. You can clearly make out the human like figure as it makes its way through the backyard. But the question is is this video real or fake? As always, it's your call. Not alone. Walked a bit weird, didn't it? Um, the other thing I know is about Mind Junkie and as I, as you did, as, as you know, I can't help commenting on some of the things that the way they talk. But with Mind Junkie, I do think it's funny because it does pauses, like William Shatner, um, or like his news presenter goes, the person walked down the road only yesterday evening. You know what I mean? That, that sort of pacing gets like. I'm not sure it's intentional or what, but yeah. Um, oh yeah. I'm trying to go for a goatee. Used to have one years ago, but problem is, well, I'm not going for a long one, just keep, keep it smart. But problem is, I do shave it off after a bit because it itches. But what I did is shave it up there because then it stops it. Cause that's a bit underneath it. Yeah, but you can really go, ugh. But yeah, I'll well, give it a go. Anyway. But yeah, it, it had just dramatic pauses and settings. There was a ghost. On the veranda. <laughs> but yeah, sorry. Let me take a take piss, mind junkie. It's just that I, you know, it's just quite funny in, in a way because it's like, are you doing, is it, if it's how you talk, then I do apologise, but it's just like, because sometimes people put voice on for their videos, don't they? And some of them are either silly, irritating, or, you know, maybe. This next creepy clip was uploaded to TikTok by a woman called Heather, whose username is Heat. 1979. Heather claims they've encountered paranormal activity on several occasions, but never actually caught anything to show as evidence. One night, Heather's daughter and her friend decided to record a TikTok video alone in their home, or so they thought. This is my daughter and her friend. Please watch closely between them. No one else was up in my home. Look between them right I'm a crochet now. As the girls are recording a video, a shadow of someone or something can be seen walking by behind the girls. Heather swears this video is real and that her daughter and her friend were alone at the time. This video was... It's also walking like, oh, I blanket caught. You know that weird thing you see in cartoons? It's like, oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? To do that sort of like lean back, sort of like bent thing when they go like that. It's like, oh, they're not getting... You know I mean? <laughs> it's recorded. So just who or what is this? Tell me what you think down in the comments. What is that? So I mean, let me know. What do you think? Down in the comments. There's something on the wing. Something. Oh, love Aces and Drew. 
This next video was recorded on CCTV and uploaded to YouTube by the user Robin Skirvin. Robin believes he managed to catch a quote ghost on camera, but like always, you guys are the judges. We believe we have caught a ghost on camera. Let's see, hang on, it's gonna pull up here in just a second. Okay, there it is, right there. Watch, it goes all Oh, I've seen this one in another video that was a. All the way. This is another, never mind, junkie one. Across the camera. Now that you know where it's at, I'll pull out a little bit and just watch this thing. It goes all the way across. And there's not a light because there is no light back there behind. You can see up on the hill back there. There's no light there. There's nobody over here. But it's still going across the camera. You can't see it as much now, but it's there. The shiny white thing can be seen moving on the screen outside Robin's home. He states that it is definitely not a light. But what do you guys think? Did Robin capture a ghost on camera? Or is it someone messing with a light? Let me know what you think in the comments mm. below. It's watching. In this next video, which is a two-part series, Spanish Ghost Hunters, Archivo Extincto, return to an abandoned haunted house they previously investigated and suffered a terrifying attack. Ugh. I had to pause it there, didn't I? Ugh. Look at that. But yeah, I, I, I was about to say, I like the name of some of these paranormal teams. Like, ah, you know, you've got Twin Paranormal, Mind CTV, and you've got Extinct to it, whatever that is, perhaps, yeah, I can't remember, I don't butcher the name, but you know, you've got, I like the funky names to come up with. Ugh, look at that. Hmm. Looks like my, <laughs> but it's, I bet you're saying, yeah, my ex looks probably looks like it. The house they're investigating is supposedly inhabited by a demon or dark entity. And legend has it that the demon took the life of a young woman and atrocious events occurred inside the house. Bam. The team start their paranormal investigation. They explore the abandoned house from top to bottom. They light candles, set up a Ouija board, and throughout the video, strange things happen. However, towards the end of their investigation, they capture someone or something watching them. You don't... You know what, if you haven't watched the previous videos, I already explained what I thought about Ouija, what I think about Ouija boards. They have been kind of like debunked by science, but no. Nino. Hey! 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 Quién eres? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Quién eres? That place is freaky as it is, isn't it? Come on in. Oh, come on, did you see that? Quien eres? On that. On the left. Come on in. Woman. Oh, mujer. I thought, I thought, es la mujer, I thought I saw something peek out like a, a white mist figure, but now I'm seeing stuff. Es la mujer. Yo creo que es momento de irnos. Creo que es momento de irnos. <laughs> so I also just noticed behind me. <laughs> I have Agamotto. They didn't know, and they didn't even notice it. Everything is being camarados. 
Oh, they use a spirit talker. That's the app that I've got and a uh, twin paranormal users. <laughs> it's not always reliable at times, but the thing is, they've got some really good stuff on it. And it's not, you can't program the algorithm. It's not something you can tinker with or tamper with. You know what I mean? If it makes sense. It's just a basic thing that takes electromagnetic stuff in the atmos and turn it to words. If that makes sense. Well, it's a bit tall for a child, though, isn't it? As the team are nearing the end of their investigation, having encountered a ton of strange activity, they decide to take one final look, and when the camera pans past the doorway, a dark figure can be seen just standing there in the darkness. In seconds later, when the camera passes back, there's no one there. At the time of recording, the team didn't notice it, but when they watched this footage back, it made their blood turn cold. That's the... Oh, it's like a news presenter. His voice sounds like a news presenter. The other day, in the capital city. You know what I mean? Sorry. It approaches. Ooh. This next video was uploaded to YouTube by the user Thea Taylor. On the 7th of February 2020, Thea Taylor and her husband were reviewing their CCTV footage when they noticed something strange approach the neighbor's house. Well, apparently caught an apparition going to the neighbor's house, going left to right by the trash cans. And in the middle of the driveway, this figure or apparition dissipates and I've watched this hundreds of times and nobody goes in the apartment there it is walking no legs and she disappears if you see nobody is going into this apartment right now and a vehicle drives by nobody Nobody's there. The neighbor left. There's nobody nowhere to be found anywhere. Very odd. What's your thoughts on that? Captured on CCTV camera in the dead of night, a dark figure with no legs can be seen moving from the left of the screen before vanishing into thin air. Thea's husband states that this is very odd and that he believes they have caught evidence of an apparition. But what are your thoughts on this video? Could this be evidence of something paranormal? Let me know what you think down in the comment. It's interesting, but it's hard to tell because one, it's potato quality, and two, if there is a camera glitch, then sometimes you know sometimes it block it out. But it's hard to tell because it's potato quality. But it's inter interesting. If you're enjoying this episode so far, all I ask is that you please like this video and comment something below to help get this video out. Doing so will help more people see it and it allows me to keep bringing you guys more free content that you don't have to pay for, unlike Netflix. What did I just say? What did I just see? Please smash that like button and drop a comment below. Bathsheba. This next creepy video comes from the channel Oh My Gosh TV, where he visits a cemetery in Rhode Island to investigate the infamous Bathsheba hey, oh my gosh. Bathsheba was known to practice witchcraft and apparently sacrifice babies and children as an offering to the devil. Her own children died under mysterious circumstances. A child was found with a large needle through the child's skull. Townsfolk believed the children were sacrificed oh, by man. Bathsheba. However, Bathsheba was never arrested or found guilty of these offences due to insufficient evidence. Omar eventually... Oh man, that's really bad, isn't it? It's not nice when you hear about children being killed, is it? Oh my gosh, incidentally, he's a good, he's a good channel. ...is out to the cemetery late at night where Bathsheba is buried and captures this on camera. So we're looking for a headstone that has been glued together from 1885. So. I ain't gonna lie, I've been to many cemeteries at nighttime, and this one... Takes the cake. 
this one takes the cake mm -hmm. for creep factor. So here is the final resting place of Bathsheba, who, what, 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 what? I don't know. You said that. God, fucking hell, she made me jump then, because when I saw, when the camera was looking down at the stone and I saw his feet move, I thought something was crawling towards him then, but ugh. It's funny, usually cemeteries are quite peaceful places, aren't they, but. And it sounded like something was walking behind me. I said her name. Did you catch any, anything good? So look, nothing behind you, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Wait, wait, hold on. show that picture again. Nothing behind you, right? Uh, that was me vlogging right now, yeah. yeah. What is that on the other picture? Oh my God. Doesn't that even look like a face? It's like an outline, wait. Look at this, doesn't this look like two eyes, a nose, and a mouth? Look. Two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. Hold on, let me see. Oh my Two God! Eyes, yes. A nose and a mouth, and it's like a. Uh, there's no tombstone there. Are you sure that's not that? Look, it's not in this picture. Oh, there's no tombstone. Oh, you're right. That's where I was standing. What the hell? You ready to go? Yeah. <laughs> or it could be pareidolia. I don't know because it looks a bit pixelated. Oh, <laughs> hey, you can't follow me. When Tiffany shows us a picture that she took of Omar, someone or something can be seen standing behind him. And when zoomed in, you can make out the eyes, nose, and the mouth of whatever this is. So, would this be the spirit of Bathsheba or another spirit wandering the cemetery? Or is it all fake? As always, it's your call. The Shadow. This short video is taken from the YouTube channel, Carrie E. There's not much to say, other than the video was uploaded as a YouTube short, and that the title of the video is, What is this thing? A shadow person? And well, after examining this video, it does indeed look like it. It didn't even pick up that motion. Drone on Carrie's mobile phone. We can see footage of inside Carrie's living room, when all of a sudden, a shadowy figure slowly moves and then quickly dashes across the screen. And what's really creepy about this video is that the motion detector didn't pick up whatever or whoever this is. Creepy. What do you think? This next short video isn't the best quality, but it is quite compelling. The video you're about to see has been shared before and it's one that has left viewers scratching their heads. But Let's go. In the previous video, there isn't much to say without spoiling it, so I'll just go ahead and roll the clip. What the... I've seen this one. It's supposed to be like a ghost pet or a pet they lost. So apparently, I can't remember the story, but I think it's something to do with a ghost pet or something. What looks like an apparition of an animal can be seen clearly on camera. And apparently, the family's dog had sadly only yeah. recently passed away. So, could this be the spirit of the family's dog? Or is it something else? In. See. Yeah, it's funny. I mean. Uh... Like I said, I'm open-minded. I don't necessarily believe in this sort of thing, but it's like, oh, sorry to get comfortable. Um, but it's like, you know, I've always thought it would be nice to have, you know, because I've recently lost Nelson. You know, part of me wishes it would be true, because it would be nice to have, you know, your beloved pet visit you here and there, you know what I mean? So, but no luck, haven't seen it yet, which is a shame. Well, I did see, was it, I was going to, my mum's blanket was white, and she left it scrunched up on the sofa and I went down to get to make a coffee and I went to turn the light on but I had my head torch on and peeked through the thing and the blanket was poking up the pillow and it because he, he would sometimes you know Nelson would sleep on the sofa and um the blanket I you know I nearly brick bricked it. Um uh, and I had to have like you know, I turned the light on and went to investigate because it's kinda of like we the way the blanket was, it looked like the top of his head. Because sometimes if it, when he's like, because he'd be led against the pillow like that, and if he came downstairs, he'd obviously lift his head up to see who it is. 
and you'd see his, the top of his head sort of thing and, the, and a blanket looked like that and I was like oh fuck so I went to investigate and it was a blanket but it was like yeah for a moment there I thought but yeah the window Kent Burris from the YouTube channel Ghosts of Carmel Maine uploaded classic this lengthy paranormal video of some really creepy encounters he and his family have experienced the beginning of the video Ken shows us some interesting footage of EVP recordings he's captured around the house. About three minutes into the video, Ken explains that his granddaughter Kaylee would visit the house and became interested in Ken's investigations and wanted to join in. One night, while Ken and his granddaughter Kaylee were alone in the house, they noticed an uninvited guest lurking outside. Yeah, the other thing is, I did, because I got Ghost Tube, I might do some more sessions of that at some point. Yeah, because I did a home session on there. Um, so notice it's getting more chattier and different words now on the on the thing. And yeah, these apps do produce genuine things, but these are things that are like there's some that are like really concise and you know what I mean. There's some that actually are direct uh, to questions or and and just even for the entertainment purpose, even if it's not real, it's quite some of the freaky. It's like, do you want to come and play and stuff like that? I'm like, well, <laughs> or how do I die or how do you know things like that, but. Yeah, some of them can be quite concise in that, but I might do another session. But like I said, because I tried, because sometimes if I every time I go upstairs, where I really go to the bathroom, whatever, just out of interest, I switch it on and record, see if it comes up. But yeah, start getting a bit more chatty downstairs, so I might do a session. I don't know, see how it goes. Yeah, as you can tell from the previous videos, I've been, I've been, I've been just really tired. I don't know why, I think my sleep pads are just gone to scrap, gone to. Gone the pot. Um, yeah, so this is one of those things. It's like some nights we doing videos, and then, well, normally, you know, sometimes, because obviously I don't want to flood my channel too much because I want to give you guys a chance to actually look up my old stuff as well if you're a new subscriber, you know what I mean? But also, the thing is, I, would, I think it's because. It may seem like I'm bombarded by my channel a lot, but because I'm only beginning, as it were, yeah, you know, I've been doing it long. I need to do mixed content because I want to keep it, keep it because it's what it's called, Christian channel. Because it's different, it is like a TV channel. But anyway, you know, we've got different things. I've got information videos, reactions, all kinds of different themes. But also, if I do keep it mixed up, you know, after you know, once I've got enough subscribers, I don't have to be too mad with it. But also, I'm trying to get grab. The audience, as it were, as well. You know I mean, because not everyone wants reactions. Some people want information videos and things like that. So you just talk. You know I mean, to try and help me get get going. Uh, but like I said, I want to mix it up. You know what I mean, to make it interesting. And like I said, yeah. Also, if, if I get enough subscribers and also if I can work, coordinate something, there's a place I want to do a ghost investigation. Because ghost investigation is popular as well. And plus, even though I'm a skeptic. I always believe when it comes to stuff like that, where it be UFOs, ghosts, you know, anything weird, it's up to, deep down, it's like, the only going to get an answer is to look at, investigate yourself, isn't it? So, but there's a, is it Knowlton Church or something up near Ringwood Way, so I think, yeah, I'll oh, go to there, that looks good to me. And, I must say, it's pretty creepy. When my granddaughter Kaylee came to this house to visit with us, she did hear some of the things that were going on in this house. She heard disembodied voices, and she definitely heard strange sounds. She wanted to be a part of these investigations. During this time, we were experiencing simple ghost encounters, at least so we thought. When I say simple ghost encounters, I'm talking about knock sounds, faint disembodied voices, or other strange sounds that couldn't be explained. However, things will take a turn. For many months, this apparition showed up at the house looking through the window at us. His visits were so frequent, we ended up giving him a name. Shadow Dude. No, he's not a shadow apparition, but at the time I didn't know what to call him. There's actually nothing here. Whoa, whoa, Shadow Dude just came back. Yep, yeah, Shadow Dude's right there. He's smiling. Shadow dude, what's your name? What's so funny? Can't 
Can you see Shadow Dude at all without the screen? No. Even if the card won by, he doesn't disappear at all. Shadow Dude, what's your name? Is this my eyes tricking me, or does it blink as well? After looking at Shadow Dude for quite some time, I go around to the front of the house to see if I could see him outside the window. This was captured. A dark figure walked away from the front window where Shadow Dude was seen. I did not see this with the naked eye. This could only be seen on the camera. If I saw this in real time, there would have definitely been a reaction on my part. A clear apparition of a young female with blonde hair was captured. We carefully examined this photo. First, there was nobody in the house that resembled the hair and face of this girl. Second, it would be impossible this was somebody's reflection from across the room. The birthday bags would have been in the way blocking this reflection from somebody in the room. We concluded, no doubt, this is the apparition of a young girl with blonde hair. A few days later, my daughter told me she saw an apparition of a young female. She was wearing older style clothing, walking from one room to another in the home. Maybe that shadow dude. During this time, we did not realize the severity of these encounters. While Ken and his granddaughter are relaxing in their home, the face of someone they call Shadow Dude can be seen peering in through their porch window. They try to communicate with it, but the figure doesn't respond and just continues to stare eerily. Because that does look like that girl's face, doesn't it? In through the window. And when a car's light shines in the window, the figure can still be seen just peering in. Then, when Ken goes outside to confront it, a dark figure can be seen moving away from the window, but at the time of recording, was invisible to the naked eye. Then on Kaylee's birthday, Kent snaps a picture of Kaylee by her presence, and what looks like a figure with blonde hair can be seen in the background. Apparently the figure seen in the photo had attached itself to Kaylee. Now I don't know about you, but both these images look very much like faces, but of who. You can watch the full hour-long video over on Kent's YouTube channel, Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. Before we move on to number one, if you love watching scary videos just as much as my current subscribers do, you should join them by subscribing to my channel. I release really scary videos really every single week, and if scary videos are your thing, make sure you subscribe right now and hit the notification bell to be notified as soon as I upload a new scary video. Already done. Did man. you see it? The last clip for this week comes from the YouTube channel SAW Paranormal. And what follows is rather creepy. The video you're about to see was filmed inside the infamous Conjuring House, where the SAW Paranormal team filmed a three part series. Well, the first two parts of the series, the team investigates the Conjuring House with all of the lights off. During the second episode, they attempt to make contact with any entities that are present with them. One of the members of the group, Alex, mentions she's been seeing shadow figures, and the team hears strange knocks and bangs throughout the episode. However, in part three, they managed to capture on camera what Alex had been seeing earlier in their investigation. Um so deadly to the point you guys i was getting attacked i don't know if you guys saw my live oh my god no you oh my god oh my god did oh, you guys it's, it's moving the door's moving oh my shut door. the door i don't think you can do it some of you may have seen this amazing piece of evidence caught on our tiktok live that we were able to save when we went back to watch what had closed the door on Alex, the evidence was just... Whole... And what's that? The, the flux went off. The flux went off downstairs now? <laughs> Christ, alright. Okay, I thought that was the camera. 
Shadow figure. Jesus Christ, alright. Here is a screenshot from the video, and the next one is the same picture with the brightness enhanced. In this picture here, you can clearly make out a head, an arm, a leg, and even facial features. I'm sure we've said this a few times, but this is by far the coolest and best evidence we have captured of the paranormal. The door seems to close slowly on its own, then for a split second, a shadowy figure can be seen. When the video is slowed down, you can see what appears to be a black shadowy figure caught on camera. So, did the SAW paranormal caught on camera? Sorry. Normal team capture evidence of something paranormal inside the conjuring house? Or maybe it's just Photoshop. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. You can watch more scary, creepy videos by clicking on any of these videos shown on the screen. You can also follow me on Instagram at MindJunkieTV or over on TikTok at MindJunkie. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 Mm. Yeah, so that was good, wasn't it? Um, yeah, like I said, the link to his channel is down below in the description. Uh, the link to his channel is in the description below. And if you like, you know, thanks for watching this video with me. If you like this video, then hit the like. And until the next time, folks, take care. Sleep tight. Don't let the bit bugs bite.